the Filipina P here and I've got Ruth, Sheila and Grace back on the show. How are you guys doing? I'm good P, thank you. How about you Sheila? I'm great. I love thank the new you. hairstyle. Wow, thank you. <laughs> How about you Grace, how are you? I feel amazing. <laughs> the amazing Grace as always. <laughs> anyway, your last video with me was very popular with the viewers out there. So they asked me to invite you ladies back in the show so mm -hmm. here we are back. 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 The, the gang's back <laughs> <laughs> so ladies did you like our last video did you um, enjoy yes yeah. I really we we, we, did. Did. we did we did okay <laughs> so what surprised you the most about the comments of the viewers out there well for me I'm not surprised about their comments but I was surprised but somebody messaged me <laughs> okay, oh, so somebody, some, someone messaged through, so I have nothing to do with <laughs> that. Yeah. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Sheila? Yeah, I was also sur surprised with the comments. There were nice comments, mm -hmm. and of course, opposite to that, there were also comments that would hurt us or whatever. But we don't really care whatever <laughs> they say. It's actually their opinion about mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. same with Ruth. Someone also messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 How about you, Grace? Um, I enjoyed reading all those comments, but then there were some that got irked with what I said about 50-50 in a relationship mm -hmm. and being submissive. So I think I made their blood pressure go up <laughs> at that time, but I don't mind because to each his own. And they are entitled to their own opinion as I am, as we are. So. Yes, mm -hmm. I totally agree. So I did... Uh, an ukay ukay challenge with mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. the younger uh, ladies, Yam, Angel, and um, mm -hmm. Fritchie. So, oh, okay. if we're going to do another segment, would you be um, interested to join you ladies? Would you sure, want to go to an ukay ukay oh, challenge? <laughs> so, perfect. All right, guys, before we tackle the, the fun stuff, we're going to mm -hmm. be talking about the serious stuff here. Serious. Serious stuff. Okay. Even though I'm trying my best not to laugh out loud. <laughs> All right. So, ladies, what do you think is the biggest problem of the Philippines at the moment? Well, the biggest problem of the, at this time mm -hmm. here in the Philippines is that we just experienced the typhoon or that. Yeah. And a lot of our co-Filipino people here suffered from the flood, mm. heavy rains, their houses were destroyed, yeah. connections were cut, and mm. some of the places right now don't have any electricity yet until at this moment. Yeah, some of the parts um, mm -hmm. uh, in Negros the ground Oriental. zero, I think. Mm -hmm. How about you, Sheila? Yeah, for me, I think it's the pandemic. It's a mm -hmm. worldwide, worldwide problem nowadays because most people lost their jobs because of that mm -hmm. yeah yeah one of the reasons why our economy is crippled it's because we don't have any enough tourists coming in yeah. and yeah. a lot of people suffered from you know losing their job and also yeah. natural uh, uh, disasters uh, the typhoon and stuff mm -hmm. how about you grace what do you think politics also trying to um raise who is more visible in helping our countrymen and who is not and then they make it a big deal oh yeah about helping so right i think so all right so what annoys you the most about living here in the philippines ruth well what really annoys me is that some of our co-filipino people are really hard-headed hard-headed yeah, yeah. <laughs> stubborn. Oh. Stubborn. yeah. very stubborn and mm. uh, when the government says don't go out or don't mm, do yeah. this, still some of our uh, Filipino people are doing it instead of just staying so not to spread the mm -hmm. virus or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Filipino. Uh, Filipino. Yeah, Filipinos are yeah. known for <laughs> what, experimenting. Law lawbreakers? No. No. Yeah. Hard -headed. Experimenting. No, no. Hard -headed. Experimenting, yeah. What is not? Mm. Yeah, hard headed, yeah, I, I agree. Mm. Uh, yeah. How about you, Grace? What um, annoys you the most about living here in the Philippines? Um, what annoys me most about living here in the Philippines is that the overpopulation and the lack of contraceptives by the families. Mm. Um, we could see that the uh, certain families or family 
cannot able to support children, mm -hmm. education, school, um, clothes, everything. But still, the more they have, those who cannot afford, they're the ones who have more kids. So I think it boils down to contraceptive dissemination information thing, or maybe they're not aware, fond of using contraceptives. Like or they want they have normal. More, mm, they have more time to. More time. Right. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> How about you, Sheila? What annoys you the most about yeah. living here? I think most Filipinos don't really care, especially nowadays, it's pandemic. They don't care if they get sick. Mm. Yeah, like Ruthie said, they get sick, they just go out and it, anything and they want. More. Yeah, anything they want, they will do it. And with Grace, what she said with the overpopulation, it's like that they just, they don't care. If they have kids, they don't have enough jobs for to support their kids. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you guys... Um, do you get annoyed when the power goes out? Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Connections, the chat, you know, our friends and yeah. our loved ones. Yes. Do you call the the power company to report it? No, yeah. not really. Me, I do call. Yeah, I we do. don't. I do call. Yeah, them. because I know that a lot of Westerners here, mm. that's their main Problem. concern. Mm. That's mm -hmm. their main um, complaint is like the power goes out all the time, <laughs> like mm. pretty much every day like the yeah. other night there was the power was out and i was like oh my god come on i just wanted to to watch tv and then <laughs> i cannot it's like this is my only time to watch tv and then i was like Arr! come on that's the only time i can have my me time and oh. I, I, i'm done with the editing and i'm done you know answering comments and i just wanted to watch something in netflix and there's like the power's out like okay okay what okay. now there's no, there's no wind, there's no nothing. Weather's fine. Yeah. Why do you it think the power's always going out? Especially your Negros. This is the... Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I guess one of the reasons why there's always a power interruption nowadays, it's because mm -hmm. they're still fixing the, the line of the electric. Because as what I have heard, mm -hmm. um, when they did not turn off the power, one of the linemen was electrocuted. Oh yeah, the, I, I heard that. I heard that high. one. Yeah. one so that that's high. why, yeah, yeah that's intended. why when they turn it off, meaning to say maybe they're doing their fixing thing. Okay. I guess. Yeah, because this is not only because of the typhoon. Uh, yeah, it happens many times before. Even before, before it's always going out. Yeah. <laughs> there are scheduled power yes, interruptions, yes. Yeah. but most of the time, nothing. They just. It's just off. It's just a power, power trip without yeah, power maybe trip. informing us yeah, earlier yeah. or ahead of time yeah. so that we can be ready. No. Yeah, even with the internet. Mm -hmm. um, internet yes. connection, sometimes um, it just disappears. Yes. And um, although we're paying the right amount, mm -hmm. they're not going to deduct it from, yes. our, from no. our bill. Mm -hmm. Let's say there was no internet connection for three hours 15, mm -hmm. 15 days for me? 15, yes. 15 days, days during after the Odette. Mm -hmm. There was a. Uh, I have no internet connection for 15 days. No. Did you pay the whole? The of amount? course, till I paid mm -hmm. the same amount. Did you mm -hmm. complain? No. No, why not? Uh. It's tiring. <laughs> Sorry. It's tiring when you, 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 you have to complain and it's then a long process. there's no yeah. action. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so ladies, let's talk about age discrimination here in the Philippines. Do you think older women can get jobs in the Philippines, like at the mall? Do you think it's harder for them to get a job? How about you, Grace? Um, working in a hospital setting, we accept, we still accept yeah. older individuals as mm -hmm. long as they are capable of working and then mm -hmm. the skills and the knowledge are still there. Mm -hmm. So as long as they are still productive, then we accept them. How about at the malls? At the malls, I don't know, but I haven't seen older women working at the malls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even janitorial yeah. jobs, mm -hmm. I can't see anyone. Do you think it's harder for an older... I think it's harder for older women mm -hmm. at the malls. Right. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ruth? Well, I guess same with Greece. It's harder for older women to work in the malls. I never seen. Yeah, yeah. I observe. Right. I never. I never seen like mm. older women working in the malls. Yeah, even in the you know in yes. the fast food yeah. Yeah. Yes. industry, yeah. mm -hmm. there's very little older women there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think um, when you see a sign? You know, a wanted sign like. Mm -hmm. um, 
hiring yeah. 18 to 24 year old mm, women only mm, with mm. pleasing personality. personality. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of it, Ruth? Oh, well, I guess, well, it's their... Is their preference? Uh, yeah, it's their preference. We cannot do something about it. But if you say that uh, there's a discrimination, uh, well, yes. Mm -hmm. There is because why do you have to put the age when <coughs> some of the older women can still work what the younger women do? If just say mm -hmm. serving in a restaurant, well, the, the, the people who's older can still can serve the people mm -hmm. of, like, like in the restaurant. Why not? What do you think when you see something like that, Grace? Do you think it's very, do you think it's unfair? I think it's unfair because what will happen to those 18 to 24 years old when they grow older while working in that certain mm -hmm. establishment? So mm -hmm. will they be fired or, oh, hey, um, you have reached your age, age 45, <laughs> so it's now about time we look for another 18 to, 20, 18 to 24 years old. So what's that? <laughs> Most of the people in the fast food or the malls are younger and yeah. then yes. it's very rare to see Older women, women there, unless yes. they've been there for X amount for, of years, yes. mm -hmm. and sometimes there's a problem with the uh, um, becoming a regular in your job because mm -hmm. some of the companies mm -hmm. here are avoiding. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some, not regularization. all. The regularization because they have to pay um, certain benefits. Yes. And um, this was when I was in college. Um, I'm only allowed to work in the fast food for six months, and I, mm -hmm. I cannot. Renew, renew my contract because after six months you they have, have to, to regular to regularize. They That's have to. The I have to be. Re yes. Uh, regular and they have to pay for mm. the benefits. Yes. And some yes. companies mm -hmm. are avoiding, avoiding that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's. That's, that's why very it's <laughs> six months contractual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the contractual uh, contractual. Mm -hmm. um, jobs here but I think the government is trying to abolish that they're making sure that I hope I, I hope, hope so, so. <laughs> I hope so but I don't think, yeah. I think so. ladies the Philippines is obviously a very religious country and why do you think there are a lot of people engaging in premarital sex and a lot of younger um, younger single mothers out there what do you think is the main cause how about you, Ruth? Well, maybe the main cause is that maybe they lack information. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, we Filipino don't talk about it freely. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? We don't talk about it freely. And it feels like when you talk about it, it's like a taboo. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. taboo subject. Yeah. When you start <laughs> to open up, like there's a feeling of uneasiness between the like family members, like when you're talking about mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. as if you cannot just talk about it freely. Yeah. <laughs> Do you talk to your parents about sex and <laughs> I don't know, maybe menstruation? Me. Do you? Me, when I you don't. Were, no. Yeah. So, yeah. would you guys, um, would you ladies want your children to be open, um, talking about sex or sex education with you? Would you be uh, willing to teach them? How to do it properly and you know do it properly. <laughs> Sorry, that came out wrong. Well. Came I mean, from somewhere. Proper way. Yeah, like I mean, how nowhere. to be responsible. Yes. Yeah, but I think it's taught at school. It's sex education is already taught at school. Higher. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But just it's just in the family. It's very. Un I know it's un it's very uncomfortable, uncomfortable to talk about because even I myself, when I had my first period, mm -hmm. I was so scared. I was running around the house <laughs> because I didn't know what's going <laughs> on because my mother never mm -hmm. told about me about the you know what menstruation, yeah, yes. what would happen. Mm -mm. And I was like crazy. It was like, oh my God, I thought I... You were bleeding. I was bleeding, so I thought I was... <laughs> I cut myself down there. So I was like... <laughs> and at that time, I was playing outside. I was climbing up trees. And I was thinking like, oh my God, what did I do? What is this massive ah. thing here like, going oh my God, on? Like, I'm, 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 I was thinking like, I might be dying because I'm <laughs> bleeding now that I didn't know then. There are a lot of superstitions about that. So what's the gist? Why do you think there are a lot of young single moms here in the Philippines? <laughs> oh, I think... Many single mothers because most women or those we engage into that act, mm. we trusted our, the partner or the boyfriend or the lover that this person will support you eventually as mm. promised. That don't worry, I will answer, I will shoulder, I will take responsibility of whatever will happen. Mm. Those false promises and false hopes were there handed over yeah. Yeah. so I think then after that when the 
pregnancy is there and then you gave birth, then the men realize that they're not ready to commit, they're not ready to marry. Then, then they're thinking, oh, if I'm going to marry this woman, I cannot find another, you know, prospect. So mm -hmm. the world, the sea is large and then I can't find many. So I think that's it. So And then most women here also do not run after the men. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they live with us it is. So we try ourselves to raise our kids on our own. As you can see, there are many of us raising mm -hmm. our kids. Yeah, and we they're getting younger and younger. Yeah, younger though, and younger. Yeah, yes. that's the problem. As, as I in our hospital, as young as 13. <gasps> yeah. Yes, 13. 13. 13. 13. Oh my 13. God. When I was 13, I... Running have around, to, yeah, have to like like <laughs> what playing around, <laughs> what SEX is all about, yeah, no? yeah. Yeah. and then have, yeah. I think it's the influence of the media, <coughs> media. also. Social yeah, media. the social media. Social media. Yes. And then, and then the one click, you can see the the forbidden sites, and then the parents <laughs> yeah. are not there to check what's yeah, going correct. on, well, what are you looking at? Right. Because so. uh, yeah, talking about sex, about you know, with my mom, I'm open about it, but my mom's not. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Maybe Their generation don't have <coughs> Yeah, yeah. Talk. For uh. her, it's like, why are you talking about yeah. that? Like, no, it's it's like the big elephant in the room. You know, <laughs> yes, it's just, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> just yeah. not talk about to it. To them, it's scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary. Although themselves, I mean, they themselves, they're not really educated in that department as yeah. well. I think yeah. because it, why? Because their parents also yeah didn't talk mm, about yes. it. Yes, uh, it's a ripple effect. It's a domino effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, if you're if you're giving advice to guys out there, where do you think they should go to meet a good Filipina? Negros. 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 <laughs> Dumaguete. Negros Oriental. Yeah. Dumaguete. <laughs> where about in Negros? I mean, do you, do you advise them to go to the church or <laughs> to a restaurant or? I to think restaurants restaurant. are like. Beach, beach by the sea, boulevard, coffee shop, coffee shops, <laughs> the restaurants, <laughs> restaurants. I think coffee shops, but not the bars. Not the bars. No, not the bars. <laughs> yeah. Why not the bars? <laughs> because um, they cost more money. Cost more money, <laughs> and <Yeah>. then <laughs> mostly who stays at the bar are the younger girls. But if they want the younger girls, they go. Go for it. Yes. Right. Mm -mm. But then it's expensive to spend money for younger girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still, yeah. the older ones is also expensive, yeah. Grace. Yeah, expensive <laughs> also, but then at least we're mature enough. Do you uh, do the flirting first or do you wait? I don't do the flirting first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still, there's a part of me, the Filipino culture, that we don't. Yeah, we yeah. are a little mm. bit reserved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do the first move. Yeah, mm. me you too. Don't, you don't. You yeah. don't do the flirting first. I'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait, and then you reciprocate. I I, I don't Depends. know. Depends. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Grace? Um, do you do the flirting first? Are you waiting? Um, <laughs> um, I'm too tempted to initiate. <laughs> <laughs> What's stopping like, you? I'm at the brink of initiating, but then oh, we still yes. have our reservations. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, yeah, the yeah, the lagang Filipina. Yeah, the lagang Filipina. Even though you're already like, oh, he's so oh, cute. Oh, cute. Wait, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like, mm, mm. Uh, sure, naman dyan, sure, sure, lang dyan joke. <laughs> no, no, it's very, we have a saying here, yeah. dalagang Pilipina, Pilipina, you have mm -hmm. to be reserved. Even, a lot of you guys were asking, mm -hmm. why do Filipinas cover their mouths when, when, they laugh. when we laugh or smile? It's because we're trying to, uh, I don't the know, shyness, the shyness, the shyness trying to part in us. And before, you know, the older, like the fan or the, the fan, yeah, yeah. We have to cover our smile mm -hmm. because you're not proper if you're like, ha ha ha. If you're oh, laughing yeah. boisterously. Yeah, mm -hmm. which sometimes we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> no. no. Under the influence of alcohol, we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Mm. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. <laughs> yeah. And now, to the topic of sex. And folks, don't worry, I'm not ambushing my guests. <laughs> I already asked them if we can talk about this topic and they all agreed. And ladies, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. A okay. lot of my viewers out there want to know 
uh, they want to know the uh, attitude of mature women about mm -hmm. this topic. So mm -hmm. here we are, guys. Do you think Filipinas are adventurous in the bedroom or just vanilla? Adventurous. Adventurous. <laughs> yeah. Adventurous. Adventurous. Oh, yeah. Adventurous. All right. So, ladies, does size matter at all? But don't answer that question until part two of this video. And folks, you know the drill. Join us again next time for the riveting conclusion. That's it for now. Bye. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your pilot, helping you keep your nose up and out of trouble here in the Philippines. The main thrust of my videos is to keep you entertained and informed about the culture here so you'll have a soft landing when you arrive. Now please exit my cockpit and return to your seats. Hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and enjoy some of my other videos while you relax. Once we reach an altitude of one mile, all you club members will have full use of the lavatories.